Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregory Manorino, Sunday, August 4th, 2024. My newest segment of Markets A Look Ahead. People, we have to set the stage. Actually, the stage has already been set. So that just makes it easier for you and I to um, really gain a perspective on the dynamics that are in play. And more importantly, look, what action we, you and I, must take right here and right now. You know, you and I have been on the right side of this for, for many years. And everything that we've said, virtually everything, and 90% of it, is happening. Go back and check the work. This is our thing, all right? I'm not going to say my videos, our videos, that we have done together for years. It's, it's really all here. Look at what's happening around the world right now. Exploding social unrest, riots, uh, expanding war. D does this sound familiar to you? Yeah, because we've been calling this and it's going to... Ha we, we haven't seen anything yet. Nothing. Um, and with regard to how this is about to play out, not just here in the United States, but around the world, um, is, is very obvious. And what this is going to come down to is how we, the people, in many ways, continue to be played. And um, I want to talk about that. And this really uh, is going gonna, is gonna to break it down for you. The economic lie of economic lies. The economic lie of economic lies. And we're hearing more and more about this and people have no idea what's happening. See, it's, people are, are led to believe that it's just too hard to understand the economy, how it functions, why it functions, monetary policy how that plays, it's not hard at all. And I really think this breaks it down, what I've put together here for you, for all of you. And if you do subscribe to my free newsletter, link in the description of this video. It's in your inbox right now. Um, I did post this yesterday, and it got a lot of attention. Um, and it looks like a few uh, outlets have already picked this up and are starting to put this in their own publications. And you know, I'm all for that. I want people to share this stuff. It's too important to just let go. So let me cover this with you. And um, again, because I don't put all my thoughts into it because I kind of keep it condensed. But I want to outline some more uh, important stuff here with you. So again, the economic lie of economic lies. And we need to talk about this. Once again, people are being scammed and tricked, but this time is different. You know, you hear a lot of people say, oh, this time is different. It really is different this time because we're witnessing a worldwide global phenomenon unfold on the back of this economic lie. And we're being fist-fed the same nonsense right now. So just pay attention a little bit. The world economy today has become, has become a weapon of mass deconstruction. Does that sound familiar to you? The world economy today has become a weapon of mass deconstruction. It is be, it's being deconstructed. And this is not by accident. So yes, you read that correctly. The world economy is being deliberately, systematically, and methodically taken apart. We are entering into a new dark age. It's very hard to say that's not where we're going. We are witnessing world events unfold here in a way that you and I said it would. More death, more pain, more suffering, more war, more division, more hatred. Sound about right to you? Violent times, pandemonium in the streets, deliberately divided people, deteriorating family relationships, struggle, hatred, fear, confusion. Do you believe, really think about this, man. Do you believe that all this is just an accident? Do you accept as true that it's just by bad luck or chance that the global economy is contracting today at its fastest pace on record. Meanwhile, you got the propaganda ministry telling you the polar opposite. How great we're doing. We're booming. We're the envy of the world. The whole world is in the same boat right now. And it, it's not, it isn't what it appears to be as nothing ever is. Hold that, hold that, okay, for a second here. That it's just by accident that an entire class of people, the middle class worldwide, is becoming extinct. Is it just because of some unrelated comedy of errors that the global debt and deficit situation is hyper-ballooning? Really? Is it just by coincidence that the last three United States presidents, Obama, 
Trump and Biden have catapulted U.S. public debt more so than every single U.S. president before them combined. Going back to George Washington, really? Really? All this is just an accident. You believe that? It's just by chance, by bad luck or a comedy of errors? Is that honestly what you believe? Is it just some unrelated turn of events that more than three quarters of working American, uh, American citizens are living paycheck to paycheck? That these same people are now carrying their heaviest debt loads on record and defaulting on their debt at a pace which has not been seen since the financial crisis? Is it just our bad luck? This is the key here. Is it just our bad luck that inflation, which is a monetary policy issue and not an overall economic one, is sweeping the glow of people? Inflation? <laughs> inflation is a monetary policy issue. And monetary policy is implemented by who? By the central banks. It's not by the Trumps, the Bidens, the Obamas, whoever you want to point your finger at. It's the central banks who are absolutely responsible for monetary policy. So although you're hearing the blame game, you're hearing it's Trump's fault because Trump outspent Obama, has clearly outspent Biden. So it's Trump's fault. Oh, no, no, no. It's Biden's fault. It's neither. It's neither. But again, the blame game is going, and they're blaming each other. Because neither one, now of course it's going to be Harris, has the guts to point their finger at the Federal Reserve who is responsible for it. They're willing. Well, because they, they think all of you are too stupid to realize that. And people are, again, a lot of people blaming Trump. A lot of people blaming Biden and Harris policy. Because that's the deception. That's the distraction here. It's the Federal Reserve. It's central banks around the world who are responsible for monetary policy. It's central banks around the world who have their bases in every continent around the world who are responsible for the current global economy, current inflationary invented event that we're in. And we haven't even seen anything yet with regard to that. And that's going to lead to really the conclusion here of the economic lie of economic lies. So again, when you hear someone saying, oh, it's Biden's fault, when you hear someone say, oh, it's Trump's fault, why we're seeing inflation, listen, you're listening to an idiot. You're listening to someone who has not even the slightest clue as to what is happening. And that's, again, what the system is counting on, you being ignorant, and you're not ignorant, especially if you follow this blog. Anyway, so is it is it just all bad luck that inflation, which is a monetary policy issue and not an overall economic one, is sweeping the globe? Inflation, again, is a monetary policy issue. Monetary policy is implemented by central banks and not by presidents or a particular party. Is it also just by chance that the one and two percenters today are now richer than ever and getting richer faster than any time on record? Here's a fun fact for you, and I actually list these as, as a fun fact. Fun fact number one, there's three fun, fun facts. Today, there are more millionaires and billionaires being created than any other time in world history. Meanwhile, the middle class around the world is becoming extinct. You think that's by accident? How about no? None of this is by accident, people, chance, bad luck, or some comedy of errors. Everything we are seeing, all of this, which is being forced upon you and I, is deliberate and is about to get much worse. Fun fact number two, there's another one coming. People are being sold. You, my beautiful friends, are, they're trying to sell this to you, but you ain't buying. You ain't buying it if you follow this blog. There is no way a single person that has followed this blog for longer than six months. I understand that the new people here, you got to get up to speed. Uh, and I welcome all the new, we're getting a lot of new people here as of late, and I welcome you. We all welcome you to this pride. Okay, this pride of lions. So anyway, people are being sold another life, fun, fun fact too, and they have no idea. Listen to this. They have no idea that it's even happening. It's this rule by secrecy. It's, uh, it's some kind of a stealth rule um, that unfortunately 
the people of the world are stuck in right now, and I'm, I'm going to cover that more. So economics, or perhaps economics. Here is the current con being sold by both presidential candidates right now, Donald J. Trump and Kamala D. Harris. Are you ready for it? We've been touching on this. Trickle down economics. Trickle down economics. The basic and overall theory behind trickle down economics is this. Are you ready? <laughs> it's laughable. By making the rich richer, it creates a trickle down effect. And again, we're seeing more millionaires and billionaires being created today than any time in history. It's amazing. Um, so by making the rich richer, it creates this trickle down effect and the, all the people, therefore, benefit. How's it working out for you? This is a lie, a lie which assures that the rich get even more powerful at the cost of everyone else. Trickle down economics, listen to this part, is a key, an integral component of the ongoing deconstruction of the economy here in the United States and around the world. Now let me ask you while we're on that. Is it any secret, really, or any surprise to you that every so-called developed nation in this world is utilizing the same trickle-down economic policy? Do you find that to be a surprise, that, that this is an ongoing phenomenon? I don't think so. And I say it's a con job. Here in the United States, there are two, two economic certainties which we will see moving forward no matter who is selected as president. Number one, continuing currency devaluation a weaker dollar, and two, artificially suppressed rates or lower rates. Fun fact number three, the last fun fact. The two listed above dynamics, again, continuing currency devaluation and artificially suppressed rates, are key elements to continue the overall economic downfall of America and the world's economies. Moreover, it is this third fun fact which is being pushed by both Trump and Harris. These two again listed above dynamics. Currency devaluation, something I, you and I have been talking about for I don't know how long now, and of artificially suppressed rates again, the theme which you and I have been talking about for years. These two dynamics will also, also further empower not just the Federal Reserve, but all central banks around the world who will use puppet presidents, puppet leaders, and a dumbed-down public to carry out their grand plan. People have no idea that it's going on. Which is to own it all. To be the lenders and buyers of last resort. Does this sound about right to you? I'd be willing to bet that every single one of you at least has one functioning brain cells realize it, that this is 100% truth. Again, this is in your inbox, people. If you subscribe to my my newsletter, which is 100% free. I don't share any of your, your information. I promise you that. Um, I urge you to make copies of this stuff. Virtually every week I write a paper like this. They all show up in the Trends Journal and other papers as well. Um, the, this, this stuff is gold. And it really should be in your arsenal. Everything that I, I put out for you should be in your arsenal of how we are going to strike back against the system. The system that is designed, its core is designed to destroy you. Again, it's no accident, a comedy of errors or just by chance or anything else that the world today is creating more millionaires and billionaires than ever before and the middle class is dwindling. It's nearly extinct right now. This phenomenon is going to continue. What's going on here is exactly what we have outlined dependency on the system. Around the world we're seeing this, people, not just a phenomenon here in the United States where more and more people are becoming dependent on the current system. So when they decide to pull the plug on this, and it's gonna happen again, look what's happening here in the debt market, the phenomenon that we witnessed on Friday, we've never seen before. This is the MMRI, look at that drop. We've never seen this before. Since the creation, since I created the MMRI, the Manorino Market Risk Indicator, free to everybody again, link in the description of the video. We've never seen anything like this before. This is history that's been made here. And look what happened to the dollar on Friday. It fell off of a cliff. 
This is not going to stop. The effect of central banks getting in here and killing their currency, politicians calling for a weaker dollar, politicians calling for lower rates. These are these can't be pulled from each other or extruded. They're, they're, they are directly connected. When you hear a politician talking about promising you, and they're both saying the same thing, Trump and Harris, lower rates, they're talking about also a weaker dollar. A weaker dollar means it's going to cost more dollars to buy anything, groceries, uh, shares of stock, which is going to push the stock market even higher. It's an illusion. The illusion of the market is today, obviously, based upon many factors, but a big part of it is the weaker dollar. The weaker dollar will foster the illusion of a higher market. You understand? It's just too easy. And understanding these dynamics that are in play right now it gives us opportunity to capitalize on what's happening. And I'm not just talking about capitalizing on the markets. Look, you all know that I'm a market guy, and I don't deny that I am a market guy. I am in this thing as deep as anybody else can possibly be, period. And I look for opportunities for you and I to capitalize on the system that's being utilized to destroy us and trickle down economics, this lie that is being sold to all of us around the world, is the destruction, it's the key to fostering the elimination of entire class of people, uh, to allow dependency on the current system. You understand? And everything else that we've been talking about for many, many years, war leading, we're already in World War III. World War III has already started, and this is not going to stop anytime soon. Um, more human suffering, pain, uh, uh, on a scale that is biblical, of course. And... Um, this deconstruction of the current system only to issue in a new one, it's, it's, it's just so in our face. But Friday was amazing to me that, that what we witnessed with asset purchases. Do you realize that mortgage rates have now dropped to a one-year low, but the Fed's not cutting rates yet? You know they're not cutting rates because they haven't made the announcement, although they're buying it all. And we watched this with regard to the 10-year yield falling to the floor, cratering the dollar. The Fed's obviously in here buying it all. And when they give themselves, you have to understand what's about to happen. The, the Fed's going to give themselves permission to cut rates. And what, they, what are they really talking about? The overnight lending rate? You know that already. I'm not even going to go through it again. But the Fed's in the market. The Fed's buying it all. Um, and that, if the Fed were not in here Friday, buying all that debt, the market did fall. The stock market fell, uh, the Dow fell like 600 points or so like that. We would have seen that double if the Fed were in here buying all that debt. But again, this is also a period of extreme volatility. You know that, I covered it two weeks ago, two Tuesdays ago, two Tuesdays ago, I explained to you that we are entering this, this seasonal volatility period and it's gonna last through the rest of this month. So expect this in the market. But you and I are watching the action here in the debt market. We're watching the dollar better yet. I summed this all up for you here in the MMRI. Again, people, this is free, 100% free to all of you. Um, there is a link in the description of this video. Just scroll down a little bit and you'll see the MMRI. We're going to be keeping our eyes on this. While everyone else is being told by CNBC, Fox Business, Bloomberg to watch the Dow 30, we're watching the driver of this market. The debt market is the driver. And we all know that. The stock markets of the world really are nothing more than derivatives of, what's, of the action that's happening in the debt market. The debt market dictates price action for pretty much everything else and nothing is real. There's no price discovery anymore in this market. Again, you and I have covered a million times. What used to matter with regard to fundamental factors, forward guidance, PE ratios, all that kind of stuff like that, valuation, don't matter anymore. It's all about easy money. And what the Fed's about to do and is doing right now is in our face quantitative easing, which they implemented again at the market stock market crash of 08. But now they're doing the same thing right now, but our economy is strong. What, this is their final solution. This is the final solution of central banks and, this, and trickle down economics must remain a key component. Why do you think Donald Trump and Harris are pushing the same agenda with regard to the, the economic lie of economic lies? <laughs> do you see what I'm talking about people? But this is opportunity. What are we gonna do here if we realize Fed's buying it all. They're going to continue to prop up this market. They're going to continue. They're going to use every weapon against us, including puppet presidents, 
to weaken the dollar, to weaponize the system against you and me. Well, we're just going to turn these tables. We're going to load up on commodities and, yes, cryptocurrencies as well. More so, silver people, silver. I'm going to show you my, my, my favorite asset of all time. You know what it is. The, this is value. This is the most undervalued asset in the history of the world, bar none. I can't think of another asset that's more undervalued than silver. Okay, You can make up your own mind on that, but based upon <laughs> everything I look at, and for years, that's, that's it for me. I think, again, uh, this market is going to be pushed higher. The illusion will be maintained, although expect volatility to continue, as we all know. But that presents opportunity as well. I'm going to say one more thing before I let you go. This is a buildup. When the Federal Reserve makes its announcement, because they're already in here in the debt market, they're buying it all. They're, they're cutting rates. Again, mortgage rates just dropped to a one-year low um, without their so-called announcement. Okay, When they make the announcement, it's going to be a sell the news moment in my view. It's always the same thing with this market. It, 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 it's a forward pricing in mechanism and, when, and it's all being priced in now and it's happening now. So when they make the announcement, I would expect the stock market to fall a little bit. Um, so just keep some powder dry for that too. Uh, anyway, look, I got you on this. You all know that. I will never let you down. Never will this guy let you down. I couldn't be paid enough. Uh, there's just no way I will ever let you people down. We, this is, look, all this stuff I talk about is fun, and it's well and good, and we are so ahead of the curve on this. This game, we're way ahead, of, way ahead of the game here, okay, because we understand who the players are. We know what they want, and we know what they're trying to achieve here. You understand? It's too easy. It's too easy. But that also gives us another opportunity, people. If we understand where I started off here with this particular paper, I think this is one of the most important pieces of work that I've ever done, um, honestly. And... Um, but again, just, just this opening statement here, um, how, how the world economy today has become a weapon of mass deconstruction, how we're entering into a new dark age, violent times, pandemonium in the streets. Is this happening right now? Of course it is. Look at the riots that are going on in the UK and Europe right now. Deliberately divided people. Do you think this is just by accident or by chance? Deteriorating family relationships, friends, friendships, decades long are being d d eliminated because of this division here. Uh, an, an economy being systematically taken apart here. Struggle, hatred, fear, confusion. All an accident, really? No, this is all deliberate. But this gives us opportunity to, to come together, people. Without each other, we are done. We are done here. <laughs> people, look, this goes so far beyond the markets here. We have been put on this earth to take care of each other. Okay, the... the the father of all creation here. Are we making him happy? Or do you think this is all very disappointing uh, and leading up to probably our own destruction or obviously our own... De we're destroying ourselves. Do you see what's going on here? Not only are we destroy destroying ourselves, but the system is helping us along. It's helping us along. <laughs> and it ain't going to change. It's not going to change. Do you think it's a coincidence that both Donald Trump and Harris are pushing the same economic policy here? That doesn't work? This, 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 this lie? This fraud that's being pushed upon all of us? You think this is really going to help you, all of us around the world, to come together, to unite here? No, it isn't. But what you're going to see is the, the media outlets continue to divide you and foster hatred because that's the goal here. It's... Um, in many ways, you know, we've created a hell here on earth for ourselves. We, it's our choice. We can live in heaven here on earth or we can live in hell here. And I think this is hell. And it's being pushed. It's, we're being led to the slaughter. We're being led to the slaughter by, by people that some believe are, 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 are going to make some kind of a difference here. Didn't help last time. All this led to is where we are now. Anyway, people, look, I'm going to let you go. Kind of a long video, but let me know what you got out of this. And again, please share this stuff. I encourage you to share it. If you are smart enough, and I'm going to tell you straight out, to uh, subscribe to my newsletter. It's free. Link in the description of the video. And you have this in your inbox. Make a copy of it. Read through it. Share this with people in your family. Tell them if they think I got this wrong and where I got it wrong. Um, people are being lied to, people. Yet again, it's an insane thing to watch. You and me, 
I think the reason why we get so worked up, and I know I do, is because this is just so in our face. It's so blatantly obvious. But again, as I said, right here, people have no idea what's happening to them. It's, it's an incredible thing that people just don't understand what's going on here. Um, what did I write this here? Here, fun fact number two. Fun fact number two. People are being sold another lie, and they have no idea that it's even happening. It's unbelievable. Love you all, people. I'll see you in the morning. Until we meet again, please enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your weekend, and take care of yourselves and each other, all right? I'll see you tomorrow.